Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Crypto Busy. My name is Tom and in today's video I'm going to go through what lessons we've learned from previous bull cycles and how we can apply those lessons for this current bull cycle we're seeing right now and also I'll be making the case for why to stay bullish in the market right now. And I'll be going through a lot more as well so stay tuned and also watch to the very end. Also be sure to subscribe to the Crypto Busy channel today and leave a like, it very much helps us out. So with that all being said, let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so as I've said, I'm going to go through the market. I'm also going to go through what things we need to be aware of and what factors we need to be aware of for a bull market to still be there, the case for a bull market, and also on top of that, the lessons we have learned from previous bull markets and how we can apply those lessons for future price action as we see Bitcoin and crypto progress and also more importantly, mature. Uh, what we've been seeing over the past few weeks and also months and years as well really is this immense volatility and so uh, the great example is if you've invested you know a hundred dollars into bitcoin um, and gold and also the stock market a year ago you would be up on your bitcoin compared to the rest of the traditional finances that are out there so the cool thing about Bitcoin and crypto is that it is new and it is fascinating and it's also very accessible compared to other markets that are out there, such as the stock market and also real estate and many others. But you know, crypto is interesting and it is a wild west at the moment. And eventually but there will come a time where a government either in the States or you know across into Europe or maybe in the, uh, you know parts of Asia as well will slap on a massive piece of regulation and that will kill the volatility. But for the time being, right now there is still a lot of volatility in the markets and in my opinion none of this is financial advice a lot of opportunity to take advantage of the volatility that we're going to be seeing over these next few weeks months and also these next few immediate years we're going to be seeing in front of us so i'm going to be making the case for why there is still a bull market why there's still a bull cycle and also importantly why um, you know to stay bullish and this is also very important as well i've had a lot of people saying this is now the bear market in my opinion we're seeing a mini bear market or a mini correction within the overall bull cycle and that's really important when it comes to understanding the macro perspective of the market so let's talk about the market and where things are going right now we're seeing 1.4 essentially 1.4 trillion dollars in the overall market cap in all the you know all of the money that's in cryptocurrency right now is 1.4 trillion dollars which is a heck of a lot of money and uh, this is compared to the all-time high of the the crypto market cap back in 2018 which is a 830 billion dollars so to see already us and you know 1.4 nearly 1.5 trillion dollars is quite something and seeing also how you know back in April and also May the market cap was around 2.5 trillion dollars so there is still room for growth in my opinion that's the key thing Another thing as well is also the Bitcoin dominance and the Ethereum dominance. I haven't seen Bitcoin's dominance go close to around 30 to 33%. And that is also a key statistic for me to say, well, we haven't topped out of this overall bull cycle. Usually what you see in previous bull cycles is Bitcoin's dominance goes down quite a, quite a fair amount. And then also the altcoins tend to do quite well and perform much better and outperform in terms of return on investment compared to Bitcoin itself. Also, what's important to note is that Bitcoin's price is closing above $33,500, which so $33,500. That's really important and key for, you know, keeping that bullish momentum there for getting into next week, because this is, again, this is a Sunday. And so, you know, the market is a little bit dead on the Sunday compared to usually the weekdays. And so what is important to see is not so much capital flowing out of the market during the weekend. The capital is staying in, which is really important. And seeing how that is reflected in Ethereum, um, Binance, coin also cardano xrp polka dots some of the key uh, you know cryptocurrencies that we love talking about on this channel is very important as well where do we see things going i think the, the case for saying that we're still bullish is because the institutional investment is there compared to previous years we've had you know four years ago um, you know the previous cycle that we had we had JP Morgan, you know, one of the largest banks in the world saying, you know, crypto is a scam, Bitcoin is a scam. And now they're opening up trading desks for Bitcoin and looking into what crypto can do and provide uh, for society. And that's really important for seeing the difference between now and then. I think also people are taking it more seriously. And again, on top of that, I don't think we've reached that sort of euphoria stage where it blinds everybody saying that we're going to go to, you know, we're all going to be trillionaires, which is 
not the case. It's not the case when it comes to the cryptocurrency market, when it comes to cryptocurrency, because again, people lose, people win. And at the end of the day, at Crypto Busy, what we want to do is make sure that we're all winners. And so that's a really key thing to stay subscribed to the Crypto Busy channel. What's on top of that, what I found quite interesting as well, we sent out a poll earlier today saying, you know, choose wisely, Bitcoin or Ethereum, which one do you think will be the winner in 10 years? And interesting enough, 64, nearly 65% of you guys said Ethereum will be the winner in 10 years time. And I think it's really telling for how the crypto mar the cryptocurrency market will perform and also mature over the next few years. What cryptocurrency has a real world use case and how can it be implemented? And that's really important there as well. I think Ethereum is a very key you know, cryptocurrency for how the rest of the market will perform. It is the king of the altcoins essentially and so i do think it has a lot more room for growth and has a lot more use case compared to bitcoin bitcoin is that store of value and i've heard many people say that bitcoin compared to ethereum is you know different because again bitcoin is a store of value whereas ethereum is a real world use case but i think in terms of market cap and this is where the real winner will be at the end of the day is for ethereum so on everything that i've talked about so far in today's video do comment down below all of your thoughts and opinions on going through and what I'm discussing, because all of your comments are welcome and all feedback is welcome as well. What content would you like to see? What content you would not like to see? Again, every comment is welcome. Also be sure to follow us on Twitter, at CryptoBusy, where you get behind the scenes knowledge on there. And also on top of that, our Telegram group chat with around sort of 17,500 members actively and passionately discussing cryptocurrency. So what I'm going to go through in the rest of this video is why cryptocurrency failed in 2018, the, the lessons we've learned from there. And then also on top of that, I'll be going through some Bitcoin and Ethereum technical analysis. And then I'll be going through some interesting things that will keep the bullish momentum there. And also, which is key to why I think that we're still in a bull cycle uh, right now. Um, so again, interesting times ahead, that is for sure. So why crypto fails back in 2018? And um, what the hell happened to crypto this year? And the interesting thing that happened was, I think in my opinion, was the lack of institutional support and people weren't taking it seriously. Comparing it to now where, you know, um, you know, El Salvador is pretty much giving its citizens Bitcoin. It's going to be mining Bitcoin, which is a new way of generating revenue for the country. I think it's been quite interesting to see how El Salvador will develop over the next few years. Very interesting stuff that's happening in Latin America. And also we go through some more interesting stuff there as well. So lack of institutional support, that was really important for why crypto failed back in the day. I think also the ICO boom of 2017 and the amount of scams that you saw back then. It's not to say that there's no scams now, but the amount of scams we saw back in 2017 was quite telling. Um, and so you know, comparing it to now, and then there's a lot more well-established uh, cryptocurrency projects now compared to 2017. That's really important, seeing the more maturity there and also what is really cool is that the volatility is still there as well. So I, th I think those two things there, which is really important for seeing how, you know, crypto has changed and matured over the years and seeing where we could be going in the future as well. Now, again, if you want to get an idea, because I get questions like this every single day, you know, Tom, where is Cardano going to go? Where is XRP going to go? Where is Polkadot? Where is Utrust? Where is Zilliqa going to go? All of these important cryptocurrencies that we love talking about on this channel, you know, where are they going to go? The first thing I always say is look at what Bitcoin's price action is doing. And, you know, if Bitcoin is down, then most likely nine times out of 10, then the rest of the cryptocurrencies, all of the altcoins that you love are down as well. When Bitcoin is up, so are the altcoins. And so the first thing you need to look at is where Bitcoin is going for seeing how the rest of the market will perform, because that is just the way things go. Eventually, in my opinion, once Ethereum does flip Bitcoin, then I think we're in a different sort of realm where, you know, the flipping happens and that'd be quite interesting there as well. I, don't, I think, you know, Ethereum will be dictating where the rest of the market is going instead of Bitcoin, uh, which would be an interesting time. So right now we're seeing a lot of sideways action in current and daily time frame for Bitcoin. And we're range trading between sort of 30 to $35,000. Right now, I want to see a close above $33,500 on the daily candle for Sunday uh, for a good bullish momentum for the next week. We could be seeing another retest of $30,000. Uh, but again, if we see that close above $33,500, and I think we'll be seeing another test of the $35,000 region. And this again will affect the rest of the market. A close above $35,000 within the next few days would mean to me another confirmation and also another test of the $40,000 region within the next few weeks on top of that as well. So 
Interesting times ahead for the price action for Bitcoin. Uh, my prediction is that we'll see a close above $35,000 for today. And then tomorrow we'll be seeing probably another retest of the lower 30s. And then from there, maybe some high price upwards uh, for Bitcoin there. And that again does affect where Bitcoin and also the rest of the market is going. So where Ethereum is going, currently on Ethereum, again, the daily time frame here, again, range trading and also quite sideways at the moment. It is pretty much uh, you know plateauing at the moment for Ethereum and also for Bitcoin. Um, um, so again, it's holding quite well. The price is holding really well at the moment. So it's holding above $2,000. So there's a lot of buying pressure for around the sort of $2,000 region, which is really important for Ethereum. But the next key area for Ethereum is certainly the $3,000 region. And then also on top of that, um, seeing where things are going for that, I'll just move my face over here, um, where Ethereum could go is also the $2,500 region. That's another key area, which is around here. Um, so Again, I'll keep you up to date and up to speed on what's happening there. If you want to get a much clearer picture of what's happening in the market and get daily updates on what's happening in the crypto market and the crypto space, monthly coin calls, weekly coin calls, and also on top of that, webinars every single month where we talk about the market in much further detail. And it is also an opportunity to interact with you, the trader. Be sure to join our Crypto Busy VRP coin calls and also Crypto Busy VRP coin calls gold. All links down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves in much further detail there. So I'm now going to go through the bullish case for crypto for the next few weeks and also months for in making the case for the bullish scenario. So right now, Jack Dorsey and Elon Musk will be hosting an event, I think later on this month, which will be really important for uh, the crypto community and also for the culture as well. So interesting enough, this um, you can see here this, uh, this Twitter thread of Jack Dorsey and also Elon Musk, two people who are quite big in the crypto space. And whether you like them or not, they do affect where things are going for, for Bitcoin and also for crypto. So we could be seeing more of maturity in the conversation here, I hope in terms of where things are going to be going. Um, we have to take, again, the macro perspective of these sorts of things. There will be corrections along the way. This won't be sort of green candles every single day. There will be days where we see the red candles as well. So you have to have that balanced perspective, that macro perspective when it comes to cryptocurrency. Not every day will be green. There will be corrections along the way. So that's a key thing there as well. And also I think what's more important is that Paraguayan lawmakers to present Bitcoin bill on the 14th of July. So that's going to be this week coming, uh, which is really important week commencing the, the 12th of July and this again is creating more of the, the Latin America space for crypto this is really important for further adoption and as we all know further adoption is better price action for crypto and for everything so to recap and to round off I still believe we're in a bull cycle. There is always going to be sort of the mini bear market or the plateauing of prices within a bull cycle. That's the way things go when you see the consolidation. Also be aware that there are people out there, institutions, people with millions, if not billions of money available uh, to affect the market. They have their motives to pressure the price you know, downwards or even manipulate the price downwards and even upwards as well. And what I'm seeing here as well, if you look at the macro perspective, for the past few months, we've seen a lot of people put a lot of FUD out there um, and also make sure that they you know have their motives to drive the prices down as much as possible but i think the prices are holding quite well and really well compared to the amount of fun we've been seeing in the past few weeks and also months which is really important so again i think the pressure and also the motives from the people who have a lot of money the institutions i think will soon be buying up People don't want you to be buying up these sort of prices at the moment. They want you to be scared of crypto and they want you to be scared of getting into cryptocurrency in the first place. And so I think that's their motives behind it because they are the ones that want to you know, pretty much fill their bags and they don't want people who are you know, the sort of the, the little class, the, the little people of this world not to be getting into crypto. So there's a lot of interesting stuff going on there as well. So just be aware of that. Again, there will be corrections on the way, but I do think we're seeing that bullish momentum and also, uh, interestingly enough, a lot more people adopting cryptocurrency. So do comment down below all your thoughts and opinions what I'm gonna go through in today's video, what I've gone through, and also um, you know, whether you like the style of content, whether you don't, what sort of content do you want to see more of, what type of videos do you want to see more of as well. All comments are welcome, all feedback is welcome. So that's really important there. Be sure to subscribe to the Crypto Busy channel today and also leave a like on this video. It very much helps us out. And so that's it for me in today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.